Hi, this is Alex from Adult Services, and welcome to Intro to Google Slides. In today's video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Google Slides program to be able to create a how-to video. Okay, so to get to Google Slides, you're going to go into your Gmail account, log in with your account, and then you'll click on where it says Google Apps. And you're going to scroll down until you see Google Slides. If you're creating a brand new presentation, you're going to click on blank. And it'll open up your Google Slides presentation. So for today, we're going to do a sample example of how to garden potatoes. So the first thing you need to decide is what kind of style theme do you want to choose. So let's say we wanted to try this theme. So then all the slides will now be in this particular theme of colors and text. So let's give it a, a title. So in the upper left hand corner how to grow potatoes. Okay. How to grow potatoes by Alex. And if you don't quite like the design, you can always change it too. So let's say we wanted to see what it looked like in blue. I think that might look pretty neat. Or an orange. So you can see how it changed this style where it puts where the title is and where your um, author is. So play, play around with the different, um, or you could just have a classic. So we'll try this one. This one looks pretty neat. I actually like this one better. So. I put a title in, I chose my theme for my design, and this is your title screen. So all, all Google slide presentations start with a title screen. So now what we're going to do, we're going to insert a new slide. And when it, when it creates the new slide, you'll be able to click a title and add some text. So step one, dig a hole. Okay. So create a couple of rows for the potatoes. You can start to do the text. You can change the, these are our text boxes. So you could change the size. So if I only have that amount of uh, text, I'm gonna change that. So step one, dig a hole, create a couple of rows for the potatoes. And now I wanna add some pictures because I wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So insert an image. You can either do it from the web or you can do it from your own computer. So I'm gonna try from upload from computer. And then I'll click on my desktop and I had something called pictures for presentation. And then I'm going to look at this one called 2105. So you can decide where you actually put your uh, pictures, but I know I was working on a potato garden back in 2010. So I think I had some really nice ones. So we'll start with this particular one. So Showing digging a hole, create a couple of rows for the potatoes. So I might actually do a couple pictures. So maybe I'll show this picture. And then let's insert another image, upload from computer. And then we'll try the do a couple of rows. And if you don't want something, you can click on the picture and you can delete it. And again, these are movable text boxes, so you can move it around on the screen. 
other customizable things, the size of the font. We can make the font bigger. You can see how you can click on the plus sign to make it bigger. You can align it. You can make it centered. You can change the, the font type. So maybe we want to do Times New Roman. You can bold it. You can unbold it. You can change the color of the font. So again, there, everything is customizable. You can do a couple different things with the text. And if you're done with page one, then you go to the next slide. Okay, so we're going to add another slide to this presentation. So insert. New slide. Step two, cut up the potatoes and place in ground. So you can put a, you can do like bullet list. So make sure you have eyes facing upward and keep potatoes faced out. So again, you can put stuff into the step the title. That's sort of your main idea. And then like you can you can put some description into here. And then I can shrink it. And I can even shrink it some more. And then we just find a picture. So I can go back and get an image, upload from my computer. So you can see, I have now a picture to match with the text that I'm talking about. So you can see how all my potatoes, I was spacing them out and I had them facing upward with the, um, the cut sides facing down and then the eyes sort of pointing to the sky. Um, and then we had a new slide. Step three, cover all the potatoes with compost. So, and if you want, you don't even have to have text at all. You could actually totally delete this. And let's just say we do insert, we insert an image, and then I'm going to show that I covered it with compost. And I could actually add some other things to it too. So let's say I wanted to do a shape or a call out. Let me try a call out. So, so that's like a little word cloud. And then I could say mushroom compost. So that's the kind of mushroom compost that I used and covered to cover potato. So again, you can see that you don't have to just use text boxes, you can actually use callouts. Insert another slide. Step four, let grow for a couple of months. Then you can say, when do I start to harvest? You will want to wait until the plants dry up and then you can start to dig underground. So let me see really quick if I have some pictures of that. So, okay, so if we don't find a picture that we we had on our own collection. We could also look on the internet too. So you can do insert, and instead of doing images up over here, you could do search the web. So we could do ready to harvest potatoes. And let's say we wanted to show what they're starting to look like. You click on the image and then click insert. And these are showing that they're sort of above the ground. So they were just starting to harvest them. So let's look at it if there's anything for just a potato plant. So let's 
So I know, at least when I planted potatoes in the past, sometimes they do grow flowers above the, um, the actual plant itself. And everything is below the ground. It's a root vegetable. So you'll see all this growing with little, even little flowers that'll bloom at times. And then once they all dry out and turn brown, then you'll be able to dig around and look for the potatoes. And then we could just end it up. Oh. That's just a little presentation view if you're uh, gonna present what you had so far. So you can see I'm already starting to create a presentation. Step one, dig a hole. Step two, cut up the potatoes and place in the ground. Step three, cover all the potatoes with compost. Step four, let grow for a couple months. So you have that there. And then when you reach the end, you can escape, you'll get out of here. But let's add one more slide in there. So we're going to do insert new slide. Let's just say step five, harvest the potatoes. Okay, so now that one I do have some pictures of, so I'm gonna do image, upload for a computer, and then I'm gonna go onto the desktop, pictures from presentation. Actually, here's a good example of some potatoes that were starting to grow Other even potatoes. Yep, they look like they're big, these huge plants that have actually grown. And um, so let's say if we wanted to use that one instead, I can actually copy it. And I wanted to put it in the previous page. I can get rid of this and then I can do paste. So I can either do edit paste and then I can shrink it. You can see, so again, you can customize it however you'd like it. And then when we harvest it, we're gonna just find a nice picture of um, upload from computer. So there's, a, there's an example of one harvest of potatoes that I had one of the years. They look, they're red potatoes, but also it doesn't, there's all sorts of different kinds of potatoes. So like, I also have from a different year, I actually had something called purple potatoes. So the different years I've tried different types and they're all pretty tasty. So um, again, we just created a, a simple little how-to video. You know, if you have your own pic pictures that you want to use from your computer, you can use it from your computer. If you want to search the internet, you can click on insert image search the web. And um, if you want to add some, some shapes, you can do shape. You can add some shapes in there if we like. So maybe you wanted to have a square and you wanted to type in there. You could even type in there. You can add a, um, a text box. We can add that into the square. So here are some potatoes. You can add my favorite ones are call outs. So you do that, and then you could say like red potatoes. And then you can also say, you can do, purple. So you can decide what you'd like to do. And when you're all done, you can go to run it as a slideshow. Please click on the first slide. And then we're going to do view, present. And then we have the how to grow potatoes. And you got your name. You can dig a hole, create a couple of rows for the potatoes, cut up the potatoes and place in the ground. Cover all the potatoes with compost. Let go for a couple of months. When do I harvest? You look at it, it starts to get big, but everything has to dry up first before you can actually start to dig onto the ground. And then here's some of the finished products. So that's when you harvest the potatoes. And I usually planted them about in, starting around April time, but it'll depend on what your climate is, how the weather is. And then harvesting could be anywhere over the summer, sometimes over the, um, like July. 
sometimes in August. It just depends on when the potatoes are ready and how the season goes. Then you're all done, you click Escape. Now, the one nice thing about Google Slides is it saves it directly to your Google Drive. So you don't have to worry about saving it on your computer. You're welcome to share it with other people. You can click on Share. And you can either type in somebody's email address or you can create a link and send them a link. And you can change the restrictions, so that's kind of nice. And um, you can also make a copy if you want to try a different one, and it'll make a copy of this. You can download it to your computer into a, a PowerPoint presentation if you want to work on Microsoft PowerPoint. You can download it as an image if you just want an image. A PDF document so nice if you're sharing it on a website. You can download it as a PDF. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You can print out your presentation. So there's a lot of different things to explore. This is just the introduction to Google Slides, but um, definitely take a look at it and see what you can do for uh, creating a basic presentation. So today we use the potatoes as an example, and um, you can decide on any topic you'd like. So thank you for coming to today's presentation on Google Slides. Stay tuned for other programs on social media, our website, and our digital newsletter. And if you ever want to check out other um, presentations or tutorials that are worked on, check out our YouTube channel, Facebook. You can also go on our website, Oxlick Library website, adults, and then tutorials. And you can find different tutorials of other computer topics. And that's it. So have a great day. And um, We'll see you later.